Greetings and welcome back to Celebrate Every Day with Amazing K. I celebrate every day and I am Amazing K. Welcome. Today is Sunday, September 3rd, 2023. We're also going to talk about Monday, September 4th, 2023. But first, what's happening and what are we celebrating Sunday, September 3rd? We are celebrating the Bowling League Day, National U.S. Bowling League Day. Yay! We're also celebrating Pastor's Spouse Day, National Pastor's Spouse Day. Yay! So let's talk about today first, the U.S. Bowling League Day. Well, bowling is a very old profession. It's been around a very long time, and it started off with being an outdoor sport. Now it's indoors because we have lanes, but it was just called pin, 10 pin alley or something. They would just put pins up and roll a ball and do it. But now it has become a national sport and they have leagues. Leagues are groups of people that get together and bowl over a period of time and they keep score and they, they compete against each other and everything. And today we celebrate those leagues. Now, my mom was in a bowling league for a very long time. Her and her best friend, Miss Ivory Thompson Bailey, and my cousin, her niece, her early girl niece. We were together the other, the other day at an event, and she said, oh, I'm my aunt's favorite niece. She was her only niece, <laughs> Barbara Love. And guess what? She still bowls in a bowling league today. So that is a long time profession. It's good exercise and it helps you. Uh, I, I was never a good bowler. We did have bowling in high school. We had a bowling tee because we had a bowling alley right around the corner from our school, Denby Lanes. But bowling league day is today and we salute you, all of you bowler leagues, Barbara and all of the rest of the people that are on the league with you. I also want to talk about today is Pastor Spouse Day. Now, Pastor Spouse Day has set it set aside today to honor those people, men and women, who have served along with their spouses that are in ministry. Today is Sunday. It's the first Sunday. And actually, uh, Pastor Spouse Day is always the first Sunday in September. And this is a very special day because spouses and the ministers are very important to the body of Christ. And if you have a good spouse that's going to support you and encourage you, you've got everything because you got God too. And it's a very special place to be a spouse of a minister. Now we have some ministers that are co-ministers, so they're spouses to each other. So it's their day. So I want to give out a salute and a shout out to my pastors of Evangel Christian Church and Church's Ministries, Pastor Jerry Piscopo and Dr. Cheryl Piscopo. Now, Pastor Piscopo passed away two years ago, and just recently, um, Dr. Piscopo, Dr. Cheryl Piscopo, has named back her son in love and daughter are now the new pastors of Evangel Christian. And we are so proud and so happy. I watched this couple kind of grow up at the church. And also I was there at their wedding. They have a beautiful uh, child. And I tell you, I think the church cannot be in better hands. Dr. Cheryl is still going to be the overseer and, of course, the founder. And... I know Dr. Sherry, uh, Dr. Jerry is just looking down and beaming in pride with our new pastors of Evangel Church, Dr. Michael Hines and Pastor Jenna Hines. And we are so blessed to have them and happy spouse because they're each other's spouses. So happy Pastor Spouse Day to you. <laughs> also, I also want to uh, honor my sister and my brother in love, who are also co-pastors of their church, Heart of God Ministries, who just, just last month celebrated their three-year anniversary. Three years they have been 
pastoring together at that church, but they are also have been pastoring together as assistant pastors at their former church, but they have been together, they are spouses, they are co-pastors. Now, they may have just had their third anniversary, but they celebrated their 18-year anniversary this year um, in May. So they have been married for 18 years, and I, tell, I always tease them and say, you'll never forget your anniversary date because it's 05, 05, 05. <laughs> they had married May 5th, 2005. So happy spouse uh, pastor's day to you and Heart of God Ministries. Uh, Pastor Carol is over the women's ministry there, and they're doing a great work in the Brightmoor area of the Detroit, city of Detroit, which is an area that is very much needed, and they're doing some wonderful things there, the Bible study, children's church, women's ministry. So thank you, Pastor Carol and Pastor Steve Ivy. Yes. And we have also my sister-in-law, and she is wonderful. She has a church as well. And now her past, her spouse is not a co-pastor, but he's very supportive. So this shout out goes out to uh, Life Changer Ministry, uh, Pastor Regina Patrick, and her spouse, Pastor Tony Patrick, who happens to be the brother of my wife-in-law. That's why I am so excited about that. Their ministry has been around a very long time, and they are been each other's back for such a long time. They are coming up on what they call their countdown to their 50th anniversary. They have been married 48 years, and they will be uh, celebrating their 50th anniversary on a cruise. And guess what? They're taking couples with them. So you can go too, couples and engaged couples and it's going to be wonderful as they celebrate. I mean, Dr. Regina has a very great uh, dance ministry. That's how I was introduced to her, through her dance ministry and my ministry. She wrote a book called Don't Stop Dancing, Just Change Partners. I love it. So she's very dear and dear to me, and so is Pastor Tony. I mean, Dr. Tony. It's not a pastor, Dr. Tony, and he supports her in every way. In every way, that church, he's like, you, you got to have a strong spouse if you're going to be a minister. You've got to. And that is who he is, a strong spouse. And we say salute to you. Uh, happy National Pastor Spouse Day to you, Dr. Tony Patrick. And I also want to give a shout out to some people who have been in my life for a very long time, some very staunch supporters of my ministry, Lift Up Your Hands Ministries, Lift Up Your Hands, Sign My Ministry, and that is uh, Pastor Thomas Rutherford and his spouse, Mrs. Frankie Rutherford. And those pastors are pastors of the Freedom Missionary Baptist Church on the east side, I should say the historic Freedom Missionary Baptist Church on the east side of Detroit. And listen, they have been pastoring for a very long time. Even before they were pastors, they were associate pastors to the founder of that church, Pastor Cobbin. And I remember them when they were there because our ministry is getting ready to celebrate our 25th anniversary in November, first weekend in November, save the date. And they have been married... Uh, for 45 years. It will be 45 years coming up in November. So they have been each other's back for that. And Frankie Rutherford is so loved by her congregation. I know many, many, many members of that church and the men members of that congregation, and they just speak so highly of her. They love her. They dote on her because she is the backbone of her. You know what they say behind every good Husband, there's a good wife. There behind every good wife, there's a good husband. We got one right there. And this is Frankie Rutherford. They have raised their family. They are a wonderful jewel to the community and Freedom Missionary Baptist Church. So I salute you on National Pastor Spouse Day. Miss Frankie Rutherford salutes you. All right, so tomorrow is Labor Day, Monday, May 4th. I'm May 4th. See, May, I'm thinking about May because that's my birthday. September 4th is Labor Day. Labor Day always falls on the first Monday of September. 
So Labor Day is the day that we celebrate the labor force of this great country that help build this country, the labor force, the men and women that go out and work and help build this country through finance, through uh, labor, through whatever it is that they do to keep the economy going. So we want to salute you. However you celebrate Labor Day, enjoy it. It's always considered one of the last holidays of the summer. Uh, one of the last yeah holidays of the summer. So people sometimes go vacationing or, or go to the beach or go to pool parties or have barbecues. However you celebrate it. Celebrate it every day. Celebrate it every way. Have a good time. Enjoy your friends, your family, because I think that this is what we should do. We should celebrate every day. There's so much gloom and gloom in the world. We could look at the news and find out everything, but let's celebrate something. Let's celebrate life. Let's celebrate being who we are, when we are, and why we are. And if you have any goals, this is the beginning of September. And you want to set your goals and you want to make a plan to make your goals happen. What can you do in the next 30 days? What can you do? What do you want to do? That's more important. So today, September 3rd, Bowling Lee Day, National Spouse Day, tomorrow, Labor Day, and those are the days. Don't forget. We still have the contest going on. You can still win a trip. Compliments of Rush Travels and Adventures. All you have to do is subscribe and get three people to subscribe and let them let us know that they subscribe because of you. All right. That's it for today. Come back and find out more days to celebrate as we celebrate every day with Amazing K. Bye-bye for now.